Indeed, I'm greatly honored to um, get this uh, festival for me for my retirement. The festival, if you look at dictionary, you know that that means uh, usually a professor um, retire um, the his or her student will send their papers and will have a say, special issue of mm -hmm. the journal or their work and to their professor. Um, it is um, for the NEI, um, I get this whole day festival um, is the first one. So uh, mm -hmm. indeed, before that, we do have scientists uh, retire and have uh, some kind of symposium, but um, usually it's a half day or just uh, evening. So uh, I am truly, truly very honored. Uh, also, I received the title of uh, Emeritus Scientist Emeritus NIH, which is uh, relatively difficult to get it. Uh, to be nominated by your scientific director and get approved by the whole NIH um, or Institute Scientific Director. So I'm really honored for that. Um, I really move that the festival, many people come, including Zhongshan Ophthalmic Center, um, several leaders some of my mentor, uh, my students, fellows, former fellows, and colleagues, uh, friends all come, and the uh, uh, Chinese embassy, the scientific council of Kedeshe also come, um, and of course the uh, NBI director, Dr. Paul Sifi, gave a speech, um, also my Boss and mentor Dr. Nessinger, who just passed away in April this year. He also gave a talk. And it was also organized by many close friend, colleague, Dr. Emily Chu, um, so in others from uh, other institutes, my collaborator, Cancer Institute, Infections Institute, um, so forth. So I'm truly honored to have that. Um, all the scientific program was great. In the evening, we had a fabulous uh, social event, dinner, get together. Well, I think she started, actually, I did my medical college in here, um, Zhongshan Yi Shui Yuan. I suppose graduated in 1967. I left the country and I went to the United States in 1968. Um, it was not, there was no relationship between China and US. So I need to start to study from undergraduate in the United States medical school. Is, you need to get your bachelor's degree before you can go to medical school. So I did that. And I'm very fortunate and lucky. Also, I get some friend of my father um, and helped me, and I went, uh, I got both degree, a bachelor as well as medical doctor degree from Johns Hopkins. Um, after I internship, I went to Stanford for my ophthalmology residency. Then I went back to Hopkins for eye pathology fellowship under Dr. Dick Green, who is um, passed away, but he's one of the most famous ophthalmic pathologists in the world. Then I went to an IH and a second fellowship with Dr. Robert Nessinger, who also is a very famous clinical ocular immunologist. So I have very good mentor in this change of my life, my training, and it was wonderful. I'm not sure I'm the right person to ask, mm -hmm. um, to answer this kind of question. Um, I'm not a political leader. Um, mm -hmm. 
a journal with a success or not, a lot is um, depend on the writer, the author. And if you have good paper, um, the journal will success. One of the reasons I believe my father found this journal is at that time mm -hmm. in China, there was no foreign journal so easy to go in this country. And also at that time, um, there was no English journal um, yeah. in ophthalmology by Chinese in this country. But now it's very different. Um, many Chinese go outside abroad to study, and many return. And you can get almost every journal here you can get. People can be English, can be German. So it, it's not a need like what was before. How to make the journal better and you know, all that thing depend on the editorial board, depend on the leadership, and also how you attract good authors to write some good paper. That's the secret of the success. Okay. I believe passion is very important. Yeah. If you have the passion, whatever you can do, you do it. So you will not feel this is uh, your job or you need to do it. Um, it's because you love it. When you love something you can do, you will work hard, you would like to spend your effort and try in the time then you will get success. Every disease is yeah. important. Not just common disease, also rare disease. What is important for one individual is did the disease you are passionate in it and you want to find out what the mechanism and treatment that is important. Okay. Okay.